the defense procedures for the snow globe in space, which is the Yorktown, they're just inadequate. Because if we look at this picture right here, this, the Yorktown is right there on the lower left. One of the sensors for incoming unknown objects is in the upper right. Mm -hmm. And an unknown object is in between them. This is damn close. I would want my 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 defensive sensors and long range sensors like many light years away from the Yorktown. So right. I would have time to react when things are coming in at warp speed. The sensors they have here are just like right there. If some if a ship was coming in at warp speed, you'd never have time to react. They're on top of no you. No chance. And Yorktown's toast. I mean, heck, even if they're coming in on this impulse power or even thruster power, this thing is just drifting. So they got plenty. They, this thing is just drifting and it still got past the, the sensor tower. Yeah, literally got past the sensor tower. So what the heck? Like it should, nothing should be able to get that close that's not authorized. That's right. Man. I mean, heck, not only should there be one radius for the sensor towers, there really should be like an onion layer, like layers and layers and layers. And so yeah. there's there's sensor towers way on the outside, but then you but as something gets closer, it has to encounter one layer of defense, second yep. layer of defense, third layer of defense, right. uh, because this these this is super exposed. It's super yep. the the Yorktown super exposed. Like if heck, even if a bit of space debris comes zipping in. And so right. they're not going to detect it with like electronics. They're not going mm -hmm. to detect like radio waves coming out of the ship. Like a little nope. space debris can come in and damage this this um, atmosphere holding shell. Yeah. Gosh, so you really have yeah. to have you really have to have lots of early warning. Especially especially because out of these these defense towers and out of the Yorktown, they scramble out runabouts, little like little shuttles for defense. It's not like they're scrambling out entire starships. The, yeah. the defense is super weak. Yeah, for something this high in population, you're gonna need you're gonna need a fleet defense fleet of ships of different types for rescue, for defense, mm -hmm. for all kinds of things. And they just have runabouts. What? Right. Say the runabouts. Say say you want to stop this ship, and so you like get out there, get out there, and and use tractor beams, but like the runabouts don't have a lot of mass. Like <laughs> the runabouts could get pulled a thing. You need to have, they have big ships ready to defend. And and as you were saying earlier, if this was nearby Earth, okay, okay, because you yeah. have Earth's fleet hanging out. But if this is out on the frontier, then this is super vulnerable. Super vulnerable. In fact, I think we have video here of how the defense procedures go down when this thing drifts in, and it's all kinds of bad. It's so close. Oh my gosh. IFF alert on incoming vessel. Unidentified, non federation. Attention, unidentified vessel. You are not authorized for approach. Power down and await instructions. Unidentified vessel, please comply. I mean, if you're that unauthorized and that close, I mean, I don't think you should, you should be shot down, right? Vaporized. Absolutely. You're too close. And, and that this like uh, unauthorized vehicle, please do this, please do that. That should be much farther out so that mm -hmm. the crew of the ship that isn't supposed to be there has time to react and be like, oh, shoot, my bad. But also gives the, the defensive ships time to prepare mm -hmm. um, so that when they make the decision to destroy the ship, it's like we went through layer one, we went through layer two, we went through layer three. This is an aggressive ship. We're making the call. We're destroying yep. it. Yep. We gave him plenty of warning. Yep. There's no questions about, like, did we give him a chance? Like, we gave him plenty of chances. Yeah. So and, their and defensive... Heck, these runabouts should just grab the ship. Just just grab it. Just circle around it, tractor beam, lock it in place. But gosh, would you want to... Okay. It, it, the communication and the defense is all happening simultaneously. So... They're communicating with the ship while simultaneously going to destroy it. It's just so, it's happening so fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything. That means. Uh oh. These aren't what? runabouts. What are they? I thought I thought they were shuttles. I don't know. It's a ship I've never seen before. They have one, two, three, four engines in there. Oh. Interesting. So maybe these are defense ships. Oh, they're, they're, that's a large ship. Oh, yeah. That's like enterprise size. That's I see a saucer section. I mean, maybe. maybe I, I don't know. Hard to tell. 
But then why is it close to the Yorktown? You got to get it out on patrol. Yeah, get it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and 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 why is it launching from the Yorktown? It should launch from these these um, defense points out here. That's right. I guess I guess okay, some come from the Yorktown, some come from these defense points that meet in the middle, yeah. capture the thing. You, you, you probably okay. Yeah, you'd have to have some kind of plan for how this defense goes down, and I don't think that plan involves every ship is in the Yorktown or near it. That's right. You're gonna have some out outside the Yorktown deployed in some kind of smart defensive grid hmm. my only thought of why this may be like this is just that it becomes expensive because say if you have yorktown and mm -hmm. you cover the eight directions then yep. you have one ship below above below left right east right, north south east west yep. up zenith and yep. Adir. and then as you get into a larger radius you need more than eight because because the, the the range that they'd have to cover is larger and larger and larger it grows like right. one of our uh, it grows like r squared and so then if it's really on the frontier and starfleet's really aggressively pushing out and then they don't have enough ships then maybe that's why they don't have enough ships to defend this thing um, that being said then this should be further closer back to home because it's just too, it's too risky right because then you can get if you if you bring it close to like vulcan or earth or one of the the planets of the federation you can double up the defenses mm. the defense oh, yeah, of the yeah. earth and Dual defense purpose. of yorktown is the same right but if you floor deploy a bunch of snow globes now you have and you're resource constrained you can't build enough ships you're in trouble what is starfleet doing what is starfleet doing weird inconsistency right it feels yeah. like for the kelvin timeline this should be much more fortified yeah agreed <laughs>